Oh my god. Ugh. Hello, people of the interwebs. Let's get right into it. Got some more parts for the MR2 today. And uh, turn on my LED light. What color we're we gonna go with today? I'm feeling like it's a, uh, oh yeah. It's a teal kind of day today. If you're new and you missed the last video on Mr. Dose here, my 91 MR2 turbo project car, that link will get you caught up. It's where I first turned up the boost for the very first time in this car. Now, I got some more parts. First things first, I got some parts sponsored for the car that will be getting installed in this video. And I also, this is really hard to hold the camera, and open a knife with one hand. I bought some stuff from the front of the car that was missing from Toyota, some factory parts. I'm gonna cut my thumb off, so uh, let me put the camera down. Inside box number one here is a bunch of stuffs, OEM goodness that the car needed. I searched around online and actually found a Toyota dealership that had all these parts in stock in their inventory, so I ordered them because they don't make any of this stuff anymore. Parts. Let me take you off your pedestal here. I'm trying to be professional, okay? That's why I use a tripod, so I'm not going like this with the camera, even though it has stability. Ooh, well. You guys probably remember a couple weeks back, I ordered this brand new OE wiper cowl for the car because my old one was cracked down here in the corners, and I was missing these little caps for the wiper arms. So, now I got brand new ones. Toyota factory, factory parts. This guy right here I got out of the junkyard. You can see it's all janky looking. This seems ridiculous to some people, like replacing tiny stupid things like this, but when you replace enough tiny stupid things like this, it adds up to the difference between a car looking clean and just an old car. Ugh. It's hot in here. Much, much better. That's what's up. Got the correct hardware in there. Got these little plastic caps where they're supposed to be. Now I go ahead to rip out the door pockets here that are cracked. These are common to break on the MR2 and it's usually from using the wrong hardware in here. I think I got it in its place. The correct screws that are supposed to go in here are beveled so that way they seat inside this little bevel inside the plastic. These are actually really hard to get seated correctly. They have like two holes in the upper and lower portion of it that this rod that the door handle and lock goes through and those have to line up. Just like that. There you go. Now it's the meat and potatoes of the video. This stuff right here are the parts that were sponsored for the MR2 from Racer X Fabrication. I'm so excited for this. Packaging is nice. Made in USA. Damn, that is nice. Engraved in the foam, it tells you where the hardware is at in the package. That right there is an aluminum coolant neck tree. I'm so confused by this. 16, oh, it's a thumb drive. It's a thumb drive, but it's a key. I was so confused by this. I was opening the box. I was like, what the hell is that thing? Box number two here should be the upper half. Oh yeah. Man, this is so nice. Look at that. Before I go and rip all this stuff apart, let me show you what this is for. The purpose of that is to replace this little coolant tree right here that the sensor goes on and then I believe the thermostat is inside there as well. And it has a hose that goes up here to the radiator cap. And it's just going to declutter this area and make it look a lot cleaner. Alright, 
so I spilled a drop. It's impossible not to spill a drop. I know it's more than a drop. Whatever, it happens. Gonna have to reroute these lines. I don't know where these lines are gonna go to. Oh my god. I can't believe how tight this is. That's what he said. Oh, come on. Oh, please don't break. Yep, it broke. Snap the head right off of it. Good thing I'm replacing the whole thing. And yes, it is a huge pain moving these cameras around every couple seconds. But I do it so that way you don't get bored staring at the same thing. This one's gonna snap too, and you know it. I can already feel it snapping. I mean, it doesn't matter if it does. I don't know, it feels like it's turning, but I also feel like it's snapping. Oh, it's gonna break. <laughs> Looks like Ness quick. Hmm. See if I can remove it with that broken bolt. Yep. There we go. Hello tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Today. So this morning I made myself a mint fojito to drink out here in the garage. It's basically just uh, sparkling water and it had ice in it but it melted because it's supposed to be 104 today. And I got fresh mint leaves and lime slices. And I find myself chewing on mint leaves. But it makes my breath nice. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to break up the video with a little bit of something other than my head stuck in an engine bay. Which is exactly what I'm doing again. And luckily for you, this is gonna be a couple second long time lapse, but it'll be about an hour or two for me to get the lower half of this coolant neck off. Hello. Ta-da! It's off. Yep. You can see where I re-gasketed it a couple of years ago. There's no uh, thermostat in this housing though, I was wrong. I thought thermostat was in here. It's on the uh, other side over by the hose from hell, I think. Oh yeah, look at the difference. Wow, that o-ring was completely shot. Look at the difference between the two. It should give me a lot of access now to clean up the top of this S54 gearbox. Look at all this junk down here, clutter. That will soon change one day. This will all be clutter free. Oh, I get it. Yeah, no. I think it relocates this, yeah, no. I gotta transfer the sensors over, but if you notice, two sensors, one hole. But there's holes up here, so yeah. So I don't need that switch anymore. <laughs> my temp sensor up. I had to, I can't put it back in there dirty. I probably could have just ordered a new one, but that would mean I wouldn't be able to finish this video when I finish it. Oh. Oh my God. Ugh. FYI, all this stuff from Racer X Fab is made in USA and they make stuff for other cars too, not just MR2s. And they make stuff that you wouldn't even think of upgrading on your vehicle, like that, like a billet coolant neck tree. So check out their website, link down below. I reached out to them and asked that they'd sponsor and they did. So they're awesome. I just spent the past hour scrubbing the side of the transmission, the side of the cylinder head, and pretty much anything down there around where this coolant tree bolts up to, to get it nice and clean. I'm really glad they included this new piece of coolant hose because the one that was on there was, well, that was the one that was on there. A cut, janky piece of hose that went to something else. I didn't 
mentioned this before, but the whole purpose of this neck, other than the fact that it's making the engine bay look a lot better, is it also deletes the cold start system on this car, which I don't need because I live in Arizona and I will never drive this thing in the winter. I guess if you really wanted to maintain that system and keep it, you could just run a T-fitting on the lower half. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna delete all the coolant hoses that go up towards the intake manifold and they're like around the backside too. It's a whole mess of crap. All that's gonna be gone. The entire point of doing this was to delete the filler neck off the strut tower. And I still haven't removed that yet. It's out, it's out. So right here is where the radiator cap used to be. There used to be that big neck right here and the cap would go right there. It has like a big black bracket. Well, it's all gone. It used to bolt down there. They do make an overflow, like a billet aluminum one that matches this coolant tree. And now I kind of really want to get it just because this is going to look dumb having this line going over there. Jeez. <laughs> oh my God, this is hard to do with one hand. They have a matching oil catch can too that goes right next to the coolant overflow. So it's like symmetry and they're identical. But I don't know, like, I don't know what to do about having that coolant line going to the overflow. I don't know. It's not horrible having that go through there, but it still would be nice if I had like an overflow right over there. I think that's where they mount theirs. I know this is totally not necessary right now, but something is really bothering me and I really need to organize inside here. I know someone's gonna make a comment about this too because you can see there's little salt marks from the coolant that dripped. So I'm not gonna leave them there. What, I don't think it's salt. I don't know what it is. Mineral deposits. Actually, I highly doubt it's minerals since you have to use distilled water when you mix it with coolant. So it's probably just like the glycol dries or something. There you go. Look how much cleaner that looks. So nice. So much less clutter. I'm really satisfied with how that turned out. It looks really good. Getting there to start. That's a huge mess that I have to clean up. You can see it's dark out. And that's like 95% done, uh, with the exception of I still have the lines for the cold start delete that need to be removed, which involves deleting those coolant lines that I showed you earlier that go underneath the throttle body. So that still has to happen before I can add some coolant to the system. That's the last step. But I also have, well, I can't really say yet. Oh, I can, I have more parts for the car. It involves engine bay stuff and I, I'm just excited, but that's gonna have to wait because I gotta do some focus content. The cage is being fabricated as I speak. Well, not as I speak, it's nighttime. I try my best to kind of stay on track with working on one car for a little while and then the next car, but I might have to go back and forth just for a video or two between the MR2 and the focus, just so I can wrap up the rest of the stuff I'm doing. And then also I got some Forester stuff. I got a couple parts. I have a lot of work to do and it's just me. So I need to just get, I need to shut up and just edit this video and just get back to work. And I got a good car in the driveway to review too. Hmm. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video and thank you Racer X Fabrication for sponsoring these parts. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go shower now because I'm gross and clean up my mess. Bye.